Loughborough is thought to have began as a Saxon village at the time of the Doomsday Book 1086. Loughborough probably had a population of about 180, which was fair for a Saxon village. The Doomsday Book recorded 40 houses, a manor, and a population of 176. In 1326 the manor was passed to the Beaumont family and was kept by them until 1507. By 1560, for Loughborough had grown in size to 256 houses. The continued expansion of the settlement was slowed by the outbreak of plague on a number of occasions. <laughs> Let's skip many years so I'm not wasting your time and talk about this guy who become Loughborough's most hated man. And why? Well, let's see. Heathcote had many enemies in Loughborough and Nottingham causing one of the most violent and destructive episodes 190 years ago. Heathcote had made a machine capable of reproducing the best handmade pillow lace, putting many lace makers' livelihoods at risk and crippling the competition by extracting large sums of money. Fuming with anger, a group named the Luddites stormed the pubs of Loughborough, blackening their faces and spreading their fury. They attacked Heathcote's mill, attacking 55 lace-making machines and shooting one of the factory guards. Back onto the town itself. In 1801 Loughborough had a population of over 4,500. By the standards of the time, it was a fair-sized market town, and it grew rapidly. By 1841 the population of Loughborough was over 10,000. However, from the mid-19th century, there was a bell-founding industry in Loughborough. And Loughborough also made one of the biggest bells in England and the world. The bell here was used for Big Ben. From the late 19th century, an engineering industry grew up in the town. In the 20th century, Loughborough was noted for its engineering industry and its pharmaceuticals industry. In 1916, a Zeppelin raid on Loughborough killed 10 people. Furthermore, 480 servicemen from the town died in the war. In 1923, Carillion Tower was erected as a memorial to them.